Hey guys, well here we are again in Fusion 360 and in last week's video we started working on the actual melting chamber assembly for the injection molder machine. Uh, more specifically we worked on the inner tube which was stainless steel and we needed to do some uh, internal threading here and also a chamfer on the end. Fairly straightforward uh, piece. Today we're going to start working on the second piece, which is the injection cartridge. Now this is a piece of 6061 aluminum. Now we have a couple of 3 8 inch holes here for some heater cartridges. And then we have a 1 inch hole here for our stainless steel tube. And then we just need to uh, turn it down to the correct diameter. We're going to do this on several different machines here. Um, we're going to first face the material off on the G0602 and we'll probably go ahead and do the center hole. We're going to just manually bore this with the drill bit. And then we're going to come back and put it in the Precision Matthews in a three jaw chuck. And we're going to drill these 3 8 inch holes and then there's a smaller hole here that goes all the way through just in case we have trouble getting our cartridges out in the future if we need to replace them and we'll be able to stick something in there a pin through there and kind of push that cartridge out and then last we'll come back and uh, do a profiling operation and cut this chamfer here on the G0602 with a piece like this it's kind of hard to figure out what are the best ways to kind of go ahead and machine this out so i think that's the kind of the strategy we're going to use so let's go out into the shop and we'll get started hey guys well we're out here in the shop working on the g0602 today uh, we're just doing some manual drilling here we're prepping for a couple of pieces that we've got coming up uh, the first piece is the injection uh, heat chamber uh, this is two and a half inch diameter and with a one inch bore. This is for the stainless steel uh, tube to go through. Uh, so we're doing this manually and we're just uh, using a series of drill bits here to uh, get this one inch bore. Uh, next we've got to drill two three eighths inch holes in here for our uh, heater tubes. And then we can come back and put it on the lathe and uh, machine the outside and put a taper on here but let's take this over to the precision matthews and we're going to just uh, run some g-code and do a couple of uh, a boring operation here for a couple of holes hey guys. all right so all right. for the second operation i've got the stock mounted here in the precision matthews and we're going to be drilling the two holes here for the uh, heater tubes so we've got three drilling operations here and because of the height of the stock here in the fixture uh, I'm not going to be using the ATC these are all going to be manual tool changes uh, and what I'm going to do is just move the material out of the way to do the next tool change we've got uh, three different size holes here we're going to be drilling so let's get started Hopefully the coolant's not going to prevent uh, us from seeing this. Just a quick center drill operation.
because the material is sitting so high, it just splashes right in the view. Alright, our last drilling operations with the 3 8 inch drill bit here. feed to speed just right on that normally I uh, run the drill bit too fast but uh, I think that turned out well all right I've got the piece flipped over and we're going to be drilling uh, two smaller holes on the bottom here and this is just so in the future if we have a bad heater cartridge we can just push it out through the bottom So that takes care of that operation. Uh, now, if we have a bad heater cartridge, heater tube, then we can just simply push it out from the bottom in case it gets stuck in there. Uh, now the X operation, we're going to turn it on its side here, and we are going to put our hole here for our thermal couple. This will be a uh, drilling and threading a hole for an M6. So let me get set up for that. All right, we've got our stock here in the mill. We've got it turned and oriented sideways, and we're just going to be uh, drilling and then thread milling a hole for some M6 uh, for an M6 thermal couple.
right. Well, that finishes up all the operations we have here in the mill. Uh, now we're going to take this out to the lathe and we're going to uh, turn the outside. So let's go get set up for that. Hey guys, all right, so the last setup for our injection molding machine cartridge is to machine the outside of the uh, main body here. And I had to get creative in order to do this. If I clamped it here in the chuck, then I wouldn't be able to machine the whole surface. So what I did was I went ahead and inserted the stainless steel tube, and now I'm going to clamp on this tube, then machine all of this uh, that, that way I'll be able to machine the whole outside surface. Now in order to get this stainless steel tube to uh, fit in here securely what I did was it wouldn't just push through there because uh, the hole was one inch and the tube is one inch. Um, you know the drill bit it doesn't give you such a precise hole but it still would not go in there so what I did was I stuck the tube in the freezer the material contracted and I was able to slide it through the hole here and I also put some green Loctite in there to make sure that it stays in there securely. Uh, it's dried for a couple of days, and so now we're going to machine the outside. So let me get set up for that. All right, I've got the stock mounted in here. I've got everything zero. So now we're just going to turn the OD on the uh, cartridge here. That's just the chamfer at the end, and then just turning the whole uh, piece. So here we go. get that finished. Well there we have our cartridge. There we go. Alright, looks pretty good. Alright, so let's get it out and we'll take a closer look. Well, alright, there is the uh, injection molding machine cartridge. Uh, turned out really well. Didn't quite clean up on the stock right here in this little spot, but uh, that's okay. I think it turned out, uh, yeah, turned out really nice. So, now in the next video, what we're going to do is we're going to work on the funnel or cone that goes on the top of that that slides over the uh, stainless steel tube here and then that is so when the pellets drop in they'll funnel down into the injection molding machine cartridge. Guys if you're new to my channel and you're just tuning in click on that subscribe button in the bottom right hand corner that way when I post a new video like this one if it's something you're interested in they'll send you a link and you can stop by and check it out. As always, please feel free to ask questions, make suggestions, or leave comments. Thumbs up if you like the video. Please subscribe, and most importantly, be safe.